Hi, my name is John Virgil. I'm the head of the Center for Education and Health Sciences at Universidad del Rosario in Bogota, Colombia. And in this video, I'm going to present you the abstract of a paper titled Integrated Medical Curriculum Advantages and Disadvantages, published in the Journal of Medical Education and Curricular Development. My co authors were Gustavo Quintero. Dean of the School of Medicine and Health Sciences at Universidad del Rosario, and Marta Redondo, Maria Cristina Ariza, Paula Gomez, and Ana Maria Pinzon, all of them facilitators of the integrated systems learning activities at the School of Medicine and Health Sciences at Universidad del Rosario. Shoemaker defines an integrated curriculum as education that is organized in such a way that it cuts across subject matters lines, bringing together various aspects of the curriculum into meaningful association to focus upon broad areas of study. Integration is therefore of key importance for medical education because basic science learning is placed in the context of clinical and professional practice and is considered by students to be more meaningful and relevant. However, we believe curriculum integration should include not only basic and clinical sciences, that is from a biologist's approach, but also socio-humanistic and population health sciences, leading to a broader conception of ways to teach and learn medicine. This is why, uh, with a view towards facilitating this type of curriculum integration, we aim in this paper to present the design and implementation of our integrated curriculum in the past three years and to discuss the advantages and disadvantages faced in this endeavor. We also offer some considerations and applications of curriculum integration. Then we explain how our educational community constructed a theoretical basis of the health illness concept that changed our former traditional discipline-based learning perspective towards an anthropological approach. We also describe uh, the practical implications of such reconceptualization in the curriculum design, which included the horizontal integration of the learning outcomes the SPICES model, the teaching for understanding approach, and the vertical integration that connected four sciences, basic biomedical, clinical, socio-humanistic, and population health sciences. Next, we move on to describing this integrated curriculum reform, the importance of socio-humanism in medical education, the Integrated Systems Learning Activities, IAS, in Spanish. We do this using a case as an example. Then we clarify the advantages of this reform, which entailed the Pacific students' perceptions on the learning environment and the reduction of the academic failure. Nonetheless, we also describe the, advantage, the disadvantages we faced during the curriculum implementation, such as the resistance to the curriculum reform and a negative impact on the student's academic self-confidence. We end the paper discussing the implication of those advantages and disadvantages and conclude that curriculum reform in medical education is both difficult and challenging, but considering and understanding these issues Emerging from the reform may help the academic community to succeed in this new curriculum practice. We hope you enjoy reading our paper. Thank you very much for your attention.